On early trailers, specifically the smaller ones like this with the 50mm drawbar, uh, we find that the Maypole Easy Fit bracket works better than the genuine Erdy one. Uh, the reason for this is uh, the Erdy bracket is two plates to clamp the drawbar and you assemble them opposite ways to clamp the drawbar but this still stays 60 mil thick and doesn't hold correctly uh, vertically and you find that sometimes the, toe, the uh, jockey wheel will rock around uh, as it wears loose. This bracket is designed to fit a 50 or a 60 mil drawbar and works far simpler and is slightly easier to fit and a fraction of the price. It does however mean once you've bought the bracket you need to buy a separate jockey wheel. In the box you have a plate, some U-bolts and some nuts and washers. Everything is M10 with a 17 mil head. First of all, the U-bolts need to go over the bar. With this being a 50mm draw bar, you have two bushes. And the bushes reduce the size so that it's fairly snug on the 50mm bar. Um, I tend to usually fit this uh, so that it's pointing towards the near side on a trailer. This is the side nearest to the kerb. Uh, this allows you to reach it easier when you're stood at the side of the trailer so that you're not stood in the middle of the road. The plate then needs getting out. This joins all four U-bolts together. And just slides on like so. Then the jockey wheel goes on the side with the most material on the plate. And joins the U-bolts together again. Once this is on, simply slide a washer and nut on each bolt. This can be done by lifting the front of the trailer up after the trailer's built. Uh, as we're in the process of building this trailer, I've fitted it um, while the trailer's still upside down, meaning that when I turn it the correct way up, uh, the trailer will sit uh, level and be easier to work on. With these being nylock nuts they don't particularly need torquing up because they're not going to come loose however it's always good practice to check them later. I use a, an extension and a shorter socket for tightening these. Uh, this allows you to better access to fit them. Once it's in place, just simply tighten them up. Nip the first one, and I tend to go diagonally opposite. Then once it's fitted, it's always good practice if you're building the trailer to wind the jockey wheel so that it will spin correctly so that the brackets out of the uh, slots.